Mark, it was interesting to see what goes on in the uh, press gallery. I was in Parliament on the uh, on the Tuesday for question time, and um, the members of the public that were around me at the time were guffawing and laughing while Bill Shorten was banging on about the uh, the Adler shotguns. Um, yeah. I, I just think, uh, you know, news is in the eye of the beholder. And the press gallery uh, were all over this uh, controversy. Um, but uh, I agreed with, with uh, what Abbott said, that Bill Shorten's attack uh, was a, uh, a smokescreen for the uh, re uh, revelations about the CFMEU standover tactics. The thing is, Bill Shorten's attack wasn't the story. The story was Tony Abbott's attack on <laughs> Well, it, it's the story for you guys. I appreciate that... Well, I mean, having the former Prime Minister contradicting the actual Prime Minister and then the actual Prime Minister clarifying that situation at the dispatch box is a significant story. It's a significant moment. It doesn't happen very often. Well, I'm a Conservative voter and I reckon Malcolm Turnbull's a dickhead. Uh, See, that's just unacceptable to me. To think that uh, Malcolm Turnbull's a dickhead. I don't operate in that, those, those, that sort of language uh, as, a, as a journalist. I just don't. Uh, a, a Richard Cranium, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, but that's just a value judgment. You're just a barracker, and that's just a value judgment. Uh, that's no, fine. It's okay for you to be a barracker, but see, I'm not. I'm, I'm not a barracker. I'm uh, a person who looks at the, uh, the situation and makes a decision. Um, I didn't want Malcolm to be pre-selected, let alone elected, let yeah. alone... Uh, and he had his but go... Do you accept that the democratic process, such as it is with the Liberal, Liberal Party, got him his pre-selection? He then won I, his election, he then won the ballot in the party room, yeah. and, he's the, and then he won an election. Uh, I, mean, I accept all of that, and, and in fact, if there's a marriage equality plebiscite, I'll accept the outcome of that. But I am. That as well. I, I am. I support the plebiscite. Uh, I will, if there is one, I'll vote against it. But that's my opinion. And that's surprising. Uh, well, I voted for the republic, and that didn't get up. So I'm happy with whatever the democratic decision of the public is. So uh, you know, I think we, we're all entitled to our opinions, and it Sorry, would be not. Good on you, Mark. Okay, see, ya. see ya.